Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Baby F Nelson, and we're back in here with another video. I've got some fire for you guys today. Today we are covering some of the most slept on weapon talents in the game. I'm going to be covering for you guys right now, showing you guys really quick some of the weapon talents that you may be sleep you may be sleeping on, or not really understanding how they work, and how you may want to add these to your arsenal to really start getting in and doing some crazy work out there. So without further ado, let's jump right on in. All right, guys, this video is going to be really straightforward. I'm going to cut out all the extra fluff, and we're going to get right down to brass tacks here. And I'm just going to just jump right into weapon talents for you guys. So first off, um, we're just going to go down the line here. I've got a couple of weapons I've put in here of weapons that I use that have maybe some odd talents or talents that you may not, you know, see people use a lot. And I'm going to go through them and explain to you exactly why these talents are good and why you may want to look at these talents and adding them to your arsenal and not sleep on them next time. <clears throat> the first one on my bottom dollar here, which I know it's what everybody's grinding for right now, right? We want a bottom dollar um, After you got my man triple going crazy being the drifter out there that man needs some help If y'all know if y'all knew no Ari, you know triple wreck send him some help send him some love because that man's going out of his mind trying to get a bottom dollar <laughs> But anyways, let's get back on track Let's talk about this weapon talent here. The first time I'm gonna talk about is going to be disruption break now this talent, some of you may be like, why do I care? All right. So, and why do you have it on your bottom dollar? Yes, I wanted explosive payload, explosive rounds, but after looking into disruption break and utilizing it, I found out something that's really cool about it, right? I use this weapon in PvP and use it in trials. Disruption break, if you read the talent, breaking an enemy shield with this weapon makes them makes them more vulnerable to kinetic damage for a brief period. So what that means is if you are using this weapon and say your team is using a like a pulse rifle, um, a sniper rifle um, or a other hand cannon like a um, steady hand or anything else may have you anything else that's kinetic. Believe it or not, guys, this talent works in PVP. Oh my God, right? Yeah, it's crazy. So breaking the shield, basically breaking the shield, getting an enemy into their white numbers or into their white health, basically breaking that overshield will will apply disruption break for a short period to them, making them more vulnerable to kinetic energy. This could be huge if you're uh, landing your shots. Let's say you hit one to the head, one to the body, and they're trying to get away. Somebody else shooting them with their pulse or something else at a longer range is going to have that increased damage to them. So first off the rip, this one for disruption break is awesome. Now for the PVE side of things, breaking this talent is a void weapon um, from anything to difficult content. Let's say there's, um, you know, the nightfall or if you're doing battlegrounds where there may be some shields or some strikes or whatever. Every time you break a, in a combatant shield with this, with this talent on, that kinetic damage is getting increased too for anyone who shoots kinetic. So it is such a good combination to use in a fire team. With this is or even yourself breaking the shield with your actual with this weapon then swap into a kinetic shotgun or kinetic sniper rifle and you're going to see that damage boost spike and it's going to be really good to lay some good some good damage think of uh izanagi's for example um you've got a captain or let's say you've got something that you're breaking a minotaur you're breaking the shield on them then you switch your izzy's and you hit them with that kinetic shot you're going to get that disruption break boost to that next shot so big tip right there tip number one <clears throat> slept on talent disruption break pick it up guys next one up is my personal favorite people know me for this talent and people know that i love this talent more than anything and i think it's like a very good talent that is not utilized very much demolitionist kills with this weapon generate grenade energy activating your grenade ability reloads this weapon from its reserves so it's a twofold killing enemies with this weapon will ju will just like it says it will give you that grenade energy back as well as when you throw that grenade it's reloading this weapon this is really strong on stasis builds this is really strong on any kind of build utilizing your nade and the reason why i like it or not is if you see most people's builds nowadays um don't really stack in discipline right there's very few builds out there where I see people actually stacking the discipline. The most sought after talents to stack your stack for or, um, or stats to stack is usually mobility, 
recovery, and intellect. Those are the ones I see focus on the most, leaving discipline and strength and resilience kind of by the wayside. Um, the resilience, of course, being focused on if you're a Titan, especially if you're using shoot through shields or if you're using shields for PVE, whatever may have you. So there is sometimes resilience comes in, but I really see um, a lot of discipline and strength, strength not being utilized as much. So, and it's actually, this complements it so well because you're killing a bunch of enemies. This pretty much gives you almost like a hundred stat plus demolitionist talent for free with demolitionist. Um, so I mean, a hundred plus discipline um, for free when using this weapon because you will get your name back so incredibly fast. It is unbelievable when using this. And um, I may throw in some demonstration, demonstration stuff for you guys to see exactly how it works. Um, but definitely, you guys should definitely get on this talent and check it out and see exactly for yourself. And you guys will love this talent, I guarantee you, especially if you love throwing nades really strong, especially for you stasis people out there, stasis hunters, warlocks, titans, whatever may have you. Do not sleep on this as well. Kind of a bonus one I'll throw in here too, dynamic sway reduction. Don't sleep on that as well. This trait improves accuracy, stability, um, while continuously holding down the trigger. Any weapon that you have with a higher clip or that you want to kind of hold in that stability, this is so good for. So think about it. as long as you're shooting this weapon, it's going to continuously getting more stable and more accurate. So this is a good one too as well. That's why I pair them to those two together. It was a great pickup. Next one up, this one may be slept on more than people think. They use they don't use it for the things in which I think it can, it's so beneficial for. But fourth times a charm, I see people look at fourth times and like yeah whatever and they kind of they kind of brow um kind of you know just breeze on by it. No 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 don't do that. Especially on weapons that have either higher RPMs or have slow or lower magazines like this one um, the Seven Seraph the one I have right now it has um, frenzy it has um feeding frenzy and it has forces a charm but it only has 27 bullets in the clip. I want to increase that. I don't like that that's so low. Fourth is a charm comes in clutch. So rapidly, rapidly landing precision hits will return two rounds to your magazine. So you think about you're hitting a crit spot and you're just laying into it. You're getting that two rounds all for those rapid hits added back to. So it takes that 27 mag and it could turn that 27 mag into a 40 mag, 40 plus mag, who knows by how much fourth is a charm is procced when it comes back to you. So this is a very, very, very good talent. Do not sleep on it. Use it. Pick it up. Use it on your SMGs. Um, you can now you can use it on hand cannons as well. Um, that's it's good too, especially um, if you're hitting those consistent headshots. But I would say things along the long, along the lines of like ARs, pulse rifles, scouts, um, submachine guns is where it really shines as far as being really, really good and effective. Um, next up is another personal favorite. This is one. I see absolutely discarded by everybody. Absolutely discarded. Nobody wants to use this thing, but it is so strong. And it is broken actually currently right now. Mulligan, all right? Mulligan, missing a shot, has a chance to return ammo directly to the magazine. I know, you may be, I know what you may be saying right here. Nelson, god dang it, that talent only rewards you sucking because you can't hit your damn shots. You can't hit your shots, you can't hit it. So Mulligan is a is a wasted talent because it rewards you not hitting your shots. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got feel you, I feel you. But in the world, in the land of most gameplay for most people, most of us aren't shroud aim out here. Most of us aren't out here, you know, you know, savants is shooting and, and hitting every shot. And sometimes when you use weapons like this, especially a 900 RPM SMG, with the enemies moving and things moving around, you're going to miss a couple of shots. With this, what this allows you to do is to make sure you get the maximum damage out of your clip because you're getting so many bullets returned back to your clip when you're shooting this. And if you were to pair this and have armor piercing rounds on this as well, currently right now it's kind of bugged. If you had armor piercing rounds, what it basically does is armor piercing rounds over penetrate targets. And what the game thinks is even though you hit and you penetrate through the target, Mulligan will proc as a missed shot because it went through the target and didn't hit anything else. So what you'll have is Mulligan proccing even when you are hitting your target, adding ammo back to your actual gun. So it is so strong by itself. It is absolutely broken when paired with armor piercing as well. Pick up Mulligan, don't sleep on it. Of course, I would have liked like Dragonfly over here or something else more DPS for more DPS. Like, I mean, I wish I could get Rampage over here, right? Um, <clears throat> Feeding Frenzy, hell, I'll even take that. Like you'd want to pair that with something else, of course. But 
if this is what you got, it's still very, very strong and very good. As you can see, I've been using this weapon a lot. I have fell in love with it. I, I was pissed, thought I was gonna hate it, and I absolutely loved it. So Mulligan, great pickup, give it a shot. Maybe for you, may not be for you. Hey, who cares, give it a shot, right? Next one up. This one is a semi slept on. I see some people trying to mess with it. Auto loading holster. This holster is what it basically is. The holster's weapon automatically reloads after a short period of time um, when it's ho after it's being holstered. This is really good because think about it. We don't want to spend all day reloading our weapons, right? <clears throat> if you technically were running two weapons, a primary and a secondary with auto loading holster, you would never have to reload. Honestly, you would just simply be swapping weapons. You know, swap to your shotgun, get a couple of kills, swap back to, let's say, your primary SMG that had it on it or something with auto loader and just shoot your shots, swap back and forth. They would basically just be reloading themselves. Reloading is the one mechanic in the game that's meant to actually stagger or reduce your DPS or the maximum rate of uh, that and your um, rate of fire. Rate of fire and reload speed are the two things they put in the game to try to reduce your optimal DPS or you stretching to higher DPS ranges. So why wouldn't you want to something that's gonna allow you to circumvent one of those, right? Which is reload speed. If you don't think about something like the Xenophage, if the Xenophage automatically reloaded when holstered, wouldn't that be OP, right? If you just shot all your Xeno ammo, swapped to your sniper, shot all your sniper, swapped back and your Xeno was 13 bullets full again to go right at it again, that would be absolutely crazy. Auto loading holster basically provides that to you on shotguns like this. So what you really want to do is you want to definitely find you a shotgun with the right talents or a sniper or a hand cannon or um, SMG or whatever. That makes sense. Okay. That makes sense to what you want to do. I recommend it mostly on uh, shotguns, um, rocket launchers, anything that takes a considerable long time to reload, right? So your machine guns, your rocket launchers, your shotguns, those are the ones auto loading comes in clutch on because they take the longest to basically do those things. Because And they're also the ones that their talent variations are a lot more simpler, right? It's a lot different with these guys. So with this one, I've got trench barrel, kind of all you need. I've got Acrized rifle for the range. Cool, cool beans, you're good. Um, you know, if you, you know, uh, SMG or a LMG, you're looking for Vorpal, right? Um, you're looking for, um, on your rocket launchers, you're looking for timed payload or time, uh, yeah, timed payload, I think is what it is. So, or, cause you want that, that, um, you want that uh, extra damage from that explosion, right? So it's very simple, their talent. So auto loading holster can fit in really well there to really cut down those reload times. So auto loading holsters next up on the list for you guys to focus on, definitely pick it up. Um, next one up on the list. This one kind of comes together, all together here, but they can be um, utilized either way. Um, I would say Shield Disorient is really good because you already get the explosion from matching the type to matching that actual that type already. This just amplifies it even further. So you're gonna get that you're gonna get that explosion for you actually busting the shield um, of a arc shield, plus this shield disorient on top of it, and the shield explosion disorients nearby combatants. So this amplifies that effect by adding that blinding or that disorient that disorientation to the surrounding enemies, making them easier for the picking and kind of you know a concentrated pocket of enemies now being focused on that could be taken down quick, right? Um, also, Genesis is really good. Genesis here um, is really good because when you break that combatant shield, you got them, you've got them. you got them basically disoriented, and then you get your magazine filled from reserves, and the energy weapon regenerated ammo, ammo on hit when matching the shield type to the, to the con. So basically, also too, you, if you're using the shot, you shoot an arc shield, you're regenerating your ammo, you bust a shield, it refills your, it refills your ammo, and you're ready to rock and roll and bust off the rest of these enemies that are completely blinded because you matched the right shield type. And last but not least, my favorite one, and then we'll end on this note, Ambitious Assassin. So Ambitious Assassin is so good on a grenade launcher. I like it preferably on a grenade launcher or a rocket launcher. Um, but it is so good because as you can see with these guys, there's one round before you have to reload. What this basically does is you get one kill and when you reload, it puts two shots back into your clip. That's right, 
you'll get two shots make it to where you can do that do that extra da send out so much more damage so much faster right so especially with having rampage on this not only am i getting the kill i'm getting amplified damage for the next two shots so especially if it's wave of ads and people coming out this thing just gets really really powerful and ambitious assassin really shines with a group of enemies that is really slept on Anytime you can increase the clip, the magazine size of a grenade launcher or a rocket launcher, you're looking at that increased DPS that is absolutely phenomenal. So that is basically my list of the most slept on talents, weapon talents in the game that you guys probably are not utilizing or maybe didn't know why they pair, what paired together well or what was good together well. But either way, it's been my absolute pleasure making this video for you. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. I also stream on Twitch pretty much every day at twitch.tv forward slash babyfnelson. Love to see you over there. And thank you so much for supporting this channel and this content. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Be easy, never sleazy. Your boy is out. GG's guys. See y'all on the next one.